baseball talk. I spend 90% of my day, you know, with baseball cards, selling baseball cards, buying baseball cards, and lately a lot on the diamond giveaway, which has been a really hot thing that everybody's been into. And we're going to have a new topic pretty, pretty much every day. Some days we'll go back and refresh on the topics, but today's topic is going to be vintage cards and rookie cards. A lot of people think vintage cards, once you get them, their value won't ever go back up. But for instance, I have this is just one vintage card. I have, I have over a million. This is my 1973 Hank Aaron. And, and a lot of people think that whatever the value is now, it won't really go up. But a lot of things in history happen. And especially when this is one thing you might want to remember. Especially when a player dies, you want to go look, make sure you have his cards because they go up in value. It's not a good thing when they die, but the value of their cards do go up. Every year, this card has gone up about $5 a year. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me how. It's just every year I look at Beckett's book, and this card, for some reason, keeps going up. So make sure you always keep track of your vintage cards like that. And then next, there's been a lot of talk about the Steven Strasburg rookie cards that a lot of people that you get off the uh, Tops a Million card giveaway. Well, I have two, and we got to see how he comes back from the surgery right now, but as of right now, he's, they've lost a lot of their hotness and whatnot. It's just, I mean, you can't really, his career might kind of be over. I mean, sure, he had a great start and all that, but, I mean, just make sure you keep him. Don't. Just throw them out already, because you never know how it'll be when he comes back. But you definitely might want to, you might want to keep them, but just lay low on selling them, buying them for right now until he gets hot again. Well, buying them you'd want to do right now, but just like selling them, you know, lay low, because they'll be a lot cheaper right now if you find some. You might want to get on it, but you never know. Sometimes he might come back and not be as good. So it's just a gamble with whether you're willing to take it or not. And then a lot of people. Like, well, my favorite old-time player would probably have to be <sighs> Willie McCovey, probably. This is an actual 1968 Topps Willie McCovey. I always liked him. Just, I mean, I don't know. I just always liked him. For some reason, he just always stood out as a player to me. And he just was, a, not to mention he was a good player, one of the best to ever live. But I mean, he was... He just always stood out to me, and I really liked him. And another thing is, when you get really old cards now, a lot of people might think, oh, well, what's the point in spending all that extra money on these big magnet cases? Trust me, you want the big magnet cases. They'll protect your cards a lot better. And this one right now is, in my opinion, about a grade 8, maybe 8.5. The corners are really nice. Everything on it is just nice. And it's because I keep it in this magnet case right here, so... Don't be afraid to go out and spend money for your collection. And then the one, the main thing that I'm trying to get out, of, that I'm trying, to, I'm trying to help collectors out in these videos, like you know, new collectors or young collectors, and how to just basically keep track of their collection and how to start it. Because I literally spend my whole day thinking about baseball cards, doing baseball cards, and if you, if you want to. I'll in this video description I'll show you my eBay account and I'm always constantly selling cards on that and uh, if comment and see if you're interested for this Gary Sheffield Future Stars rookie card I've got two of them and I've been looking to sell one uh, if you're interested please comment and one last thing before I go please comment on your favorite teams and what you'd like to see in these videos and I will definitely get on that and tell you guys some good more tips. Thanks for watching this one. And uh, continue to look back about every three, four days because I'll have more and more of these videos. And thank you.